ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨੰਗ 740 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਓ ਇਨ ਸੂਹੀ ਰਾਗ ਬਾਈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੂਹੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਬਚਨ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਾਰੀ ਰਸਨਾ ਜਾਪ ਜਪੋ ਬਨਵਾਰੀ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਬਚਨ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਾਰੀ ਰਸਨਾ ਜਾਪ ਜਪੋ ਬਨਵਾਰੀ ਸਫਲ ਮੂਰਤ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਬਲਿਹਾਰੀ ਚਰਨ ਕਮਲ ਮਨ ਪ੍ਰਾਣ ਅਧਾਰੀ ਰਹਾਉ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗ ਜਨਮ ਮਰਨ ਨਿਵਾਰੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਣ ਕਰਨ ਅਧਾਰੀ ਕਾਮ ਕ੍ਰੋਧ ਲੋਭ ਮੋਹ ਤਜਾਰੀ ਦ੍ਰਿੜ ਨਾਮ ਦਾਨ ਇਸਨਾਨ ਸੁਚਾਰੀ ਕਹ ਨਾਨਕ ਇਹੋ ਤਤ ਵਿਚਾਰੀ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਜਾਪੇ ਪਾਰ ਉਤਾਰੀ ਕਹ ਨਾਨਕ ਇਹੋ ਤਤ ਵਿਚਾਰੀ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਜਾਪੇ ਪਾਰ ਉਤਾਰੀ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਬਚਨ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਾਰੀ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦ ਰਿਦਾ ਡੀਪ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਮਾਈ ਹਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਾਰੀ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਾਰੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਟੂ ਫੋਕਸ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯੋਰ ਅਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਫੋਕਸ ਯੋਰ ਕਨਸੈਂਟਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਧਿਆਨ ਇਨ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟਡ ਲੂਸਲੀ ਇਨਟੂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਮੀਨਸ ਟੂ ਪੁੱਟ ਯੋਰ ਅਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਫੋਕਸ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਧਿਆਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਆਂਦਾ which means have you paid attention to what i'm saying or have you considered what i'm saying and dhyan doesn't just mean sitting down in a cross-legged position dhyan means constantly inside contemplating constantly inside having that thought going through your head again and again and so guru sahib ji satguru arjun sahib ji says in my mind there's a thought going again and again inside my heart and soul i've embedded dhyan tari means to have embedded deep within me deep inside my thoughts deep inside my consciousness i'm devoted but what are you devoted to if we ask the guru guru arjun sahib ji says gur ka bachan to the button to the words to the shabat to the wisdom to the knowledge which has been given to me by the guru the words of the guru the guru's bani the guru shabats they are playing in my head again and again each step of a gursik which a gursik takes shri guru granth sahib ji says rakh rakh charan tare vichari tare again is closely related to this word word tari each step that a gursik takes the four of the guru takes he or she should be contemplating what the guru is saying the words of the guru should be playing in his or her mind again and again when considering any decision of the world when considering anything that is to have inside your dhyan have inside your focus have inside your attention the guru's words and another way of looking at this talk has been presented by scholars such as professor saib singh and Prof- professor saib singh says gur ka bachan through the bachan through the wisdoms through the knowledge given to me by the guru rida inside my heart i contemplate i focus upon i meditate upon rida inside my heart upon that one wahe guru gurmukh pyaro if we put both of these translations together if you contemplate the words of the guru they will lead you to contemplating upon akalpurakh why because the guru tells us ik o ankar 
ਸਤਨਾਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਨਿਰਭਉ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੂਰਤ ਅਜੂਨੀ ਸਹਿ ਪੰਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਪ ਆਦਿ ਸਚ ਜੁਗਾਦ ਸਚ ਹੈਪੀ ਸਚ ਨਾਨਕ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਪੀ ਸਚ ਈਚ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਰ ਰਿਮਾਈਂਡਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਆਫ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਥਰੂ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਬਾਣੀ ਰਸਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਈ ਟੰਗ ਜਾਪ ਜਪਉ ਬਨਵਾਰੀ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਓ ਇਫ ਇਟਸ ਆਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੋਟਸ ਐਂਡ do we have to meditate the guru says yes you have to chant with your tongue rasana with your tongue japo meditate upon the jap the name of banwari banwari means literally the gardener what is the garden this world this universe who is the gardener akal par kwai guru who looks after this whole garden guru sahib ji is saying if you want the thoughts inside your mind to be devoted to the guru shabat to the guru's words and with your tongue meditate upon the name of god and with your tongue repeat the words of the guru repeat the guru's bani only if you repeat japji sahib with your tongue again and again will it filter through into your consciousness that is the point of reading nitnam again and again that is the point of reading the guru's words of listening to the meanings of the guru's words the katha of the guru's words the kirtan of the guru's words When we do kirtan we sing one line again and again the chorus line we sing it again and again in Punjabi we call it the asthai why is it sung again and again to enshrine those words into your heart mind and soul safal murat darshan balihari safal murat murat has been translated in many ways but in this case we're going to take it to mean the form the form of wahiguru is safal safal has been translated by some pardai scholars to mean the sasa meaning sahat which means with and the fal means fruit and they have said the fruit of spiritual wisdom those who know the form of god are blessed with the fruit of spiritual wisdom darshan balihari and i am balihari i am a sacrifice to the vision of akalpurk that experience of the presence of akalpurk the presence of god that is what darshan is it's this experience knowing that wahiguru is with you seeing with your own eyes that wahiguru is with you safal murat and another way of looking at this is the the guru's murat the guru's personality the guru's form the guru's way is to remind you the how to make your life safal how to make your life fruitful that is safal murt meeting with the guru the guru explains to you o oh, human being meditate upon god this is how to make your life safal this is how to make your life fruitful darshan balihari and again i'm a sacrifice to the darshan to meeting with that guru to the vision of that guru charan kamal man pran adhari and guru sahib ji says the charan kamal the lotus feet of the guru and again and again when this comes up in gurbani das reminds the sangat of the shabads of sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj in jab sahib in sri dasam granth when we ask guru gobind singh ji what are the charan what are the lotus feet of wahe guru guru gobind singh ji says jit charan naam in your jit to have the in your consciousness to have the lotus feet of god is to meditate upon the naam the name of god charan kamal the lotus feet of akal purk to have them inside your mind is to have in your mind man meaning your mind your internal spiritual body pran your very breath of life adari the support the support of god's name the support of god's charan kamal god's name the shabat of waheguru guru arjan sahib ji says that waheguru ji's name is the support of my breath and is the support of my mind rahao sadguru ji says pause and think about this today sad sang janam maran nivari if you go into the sang into the company into the congregation of those people who have sad who are in the process of sad means to conquer those people who have conquered their mind 
and those people who are conquering their mind, sitting in the Sangat together, when you go into that Sangat, when you go into that congregation, Janam Maran Nivari, your Janam, your rebirth and death, Nivari, will be removed. Amrit Katha, what will happen? Sorn. You will listen to the Amrit, to the immortal Katha, immortal sermon, the immortal teachings of the Guru. Karan Adhari. And this will become the Adhari, will become the sustenance, will become the support of your life. Listen to this with your Karan, with your ears. Guru Arjan Sahib Ji is saying that the Amrit Katha, the immortal words spoken in the Sangat. And what immortal words are they? The Katha of Gurbani. The explanations of Gurbani, the translations of Gurbani, the Kirtan, the singing of Gurbani, the part of Gurbani, the reading of Gurbani. I've listened to these with my Karan, with my ears, and they've become the Adari, they've become the support of my life. And what does it mean to become the support of your life? It means that each time I am in pain or I am in happiness, wherever I am, I have the support of the Guru Shabbat. If I'm in pain, I have the Shabbat to remind me, Dukh Daru Sukh Rog Paya Ja Sukh Taam Na Hoi And if I am in happiness, I am reminded, Lakh Khusiyan Paat Sahiyan Je Sat Gur Nadar Kare The all of this happiness is in the Nadar, is with only available, is only blessed upon me with the grace of the Guru. Kaam Krodh Lob Moh Tajari The Guru's words instruct me to Tajari to give up calm desires, Krodh, anger, Lob, greed and Moh attachment. And how are you going to Tajari? How are you going to give up all of these? If we ask, how do we give these all up? The Guru says, Drid Naam Daan Isnaan Suchari Drid, implant within yourself, instill within yourself, enshrine within yourself the Naam. Meditation upon the name of God. Meditation upon the Guru's Bani. This is the way. Many times we're thinking, oh, how can I avoid desires? How can I avoid ego? How can I avoid anger? The Guru says, do not think about how you can avoid them. But think instead how you can attach yourself to the Guru. If you implant within yourself the name of God, Dan. Dan can be translated as charity. It can be translated as sharing with others. And it has also been translated as Pai Veer Singh as saying that those people who meditate upon a Waheguru, they lose the idea of being beggars. They do not beg from this world, anything false from this world. Instead, they realize that the one data, the one giver is Waheguru. Isnan, where they cleanse themselves physically in the Amrit Vela, they also cleanse themselves Spiritually with the Guru's words, Suchari. This is their beauteous and purified way of living. Kaho Nanak Eho Tat Bichari. Guru Arjun Dev Ji says that this is the Tat. This is the essence that I have Bichari, that I have contemplated. Ram Naam Jap. Meditate, Jap. Chant with your tongue the name of God, Par Otari. And this is the way of crossing across this ocean of the world. Kaho Nanak Eho Tat Bichari. राम नाम जप पारे उतारी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह